Hello, Nadia Valentine Scott here. Today I have a portrait of the most famous Kiwi of all. From the files of the Ministry of Works and Development dating back to 1870, Nadu Ballantyne Scott presents the unique series Trailblazers of New Zealand. Here's Nadu. They say that once the bug bites, the disease is virtually incurable. The sickness is called adventure and it's surely prevalent among New Zealanders. Take that day in 1953, for example, when in Auckland a mother picked up the telephone to hear electrifying news. She called to her husband, Purse. Edmund is at the top. That lanky, tousle-haired Kiwi beekeeper had clawed his way to the summit of the world's tallest mountain with his companion, Sherpa Tenzing Norgay. From that moment on, the name of Edmund Hillary has been synonymous with adventure. Predictably, a skyrocket ride to fame and fortune followed. The Everest mountaineers reigned briefly as the most famous human beings on earth. At that point, Ed Hillary could certainly have rested comfortably on his laurels for the remainder of his days, but Hillary had been bitten by the adventure bug early in life. He'd come to believe over the years that the importance of living was its challenges. Sometime after his conquest of Everest, Hillary said, All we did was to climb a mountain. It was a big one, mind you, but life didn't stop there. He found his next major challenge in the frozen south where a Ministry of Works team together with units from the Army, Navy and Air Force were building Scott Base. Hillary's assignment was to cross the Antarctic continent overland and link up with Sir Vivian Fuchs at the South Pole. Just the same as the conquest of Mount Everest, the harrowing journey from Scott Base to the Pole was a significant first in the annals of exploration. Today, Sir Edmund Hillary chiefly finds his challenges in other sorts of adventure. He spends several months each year back in the Himalayas, virtually in the shadow of mighty Everest, helping the Sherpa people build schools and hospitals. The greatest challenge today, says Hillary, is in the field of human relations. And the Dean of the World's Mountaineers is quite willing to tackle that one too. Great adventures, of course, don't just happen. When a man climbs a mountain, there is usually a strong supporting team at the bottom providing a backup, the skills, the supplies, which make his triumph possible. And without the ingenuity, the perseverance and the skills of hundreds of men working both in New Zealand and Antarctica, Scott Base would not have been possible. Teamwork is the key term, whether it be conquering the frigid Antarctic or bridging a small stream. The Ministry of Works and Development can put together the right team for the right job. Nadi Ballantyne Scott, goodbye for now.